Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I have been working on decorating clothespins for a swap and for a craft sale, of course. Um, these cards are, um, Yoli Bean sent them to me. She bought them at a um, warehouse sale down there in California, and they're just flat. They come like this. Here's some smaller ones. So they were just a bunch of die cut items that she found at this warehouse sale. So I just stamped it up and then drew doodly lines on there. But then I just, I taped this down because there's a slit there for this to go into. But because I'm putting my clothespins in here that are three dimensional, it's not, you know, this wouldn't work to slide it in the slot. So I added some Velcro just to cut, hold it down. So, um, I have a little video that'll come on after this of coloring the clothespins. And what I've used are my Sakura, I've got Souffle, and then I've got Metallics, and here's some Metallics. And then the other kind is um, Stardust, the Stardust pens. And those are these. Um, so these are the metallic. And then I'll show you this if I can find one that has Stardust. But I also used um, my Recollection colored pens, and they worked out pretty well. I also used my Papermate ones that I got at Walmart, and they worked out fine, but because the recollections are so, you know, they're less expensive, um, so I just used these. And plus, they're, a lot of them are fluorescent, which I really liked. So, here these are. And then I just used some, um, just, you know, inexpensive paper to back this. And then these are just embellishments that I had in my stash. And these are the ones for the swap. I included a little clothespin. They're all different. This is the Stardust one. You can see there's a teeny bit of glitter in there. Where that's just metallic. I don't know if you can see it, but you can to the human eye. See, here's the stardust. See the glitter? And then this just has metallic. And then these are just the little stamps I used. These are just the little stamps I got at the garage sales and um, Goodwill recently, my recent. Rift Halls. There's that one. I love that one. And that's the Judy Kin stamp. That was a little cat stamp. And this was, um, hmm, I think they were maybe stamping up. And then I did try to do some doodling and make a little nature scene. And so that's just a little squirrel eating an acorn and an owl. But I didn't, I, I kind of liked how these turned out better for the swap, so. So there's my little clothespins. They're really fun to make. And, you know, you can just sit there and doodle and color. And it's better than those coloring pages because you have quicker results. I've not attempted, I bought one of those coloring books. Probably five years ago when they first kind of came out. I mean, they were, I don't even, I don't know how I came across it. I think on Amazon or something. And I got it and I thought, there's just no way I could have patience for all this. So I still have it. Never touched it. Um, but anyways, this is kind of get you that fix if you don't want to do a whole page or a whole book. Um, the stamps I used, <coughs> excuse me. 
I was hoping to use the ladybug, but you're going to have to, I'll have to use more markers on her because she would just um, stamp solid black because I'm just using black ink for this. Same with the bow. These are the ones I just got at a garage sale. But the kitty works really cute. Let's see where he is. Yeah, look at how cute he is. Here's one that's done with the metallic, metallic and souffle. And then I'm either gonna leave the back plain or I might just paint it with like a you know a solid color. But I don't know if I need to even fuss about that. So I will show you how I'm doing these if I can find there's just my sample. This one's no good. So I use that as kind of a tester. And these are just Dollar Tree clothespins where a lot of them are kind of chipped on the side here. So that must be a manufacturing thing where it gets caught on a machine. See, or something. Because a lot of these were... Those I'm just going to leave, you know, because it's... I'd have to throw most of them away. And then I kind of just, I don't like, some of them are rough like that, but that's fine for the back. See, that's chipped in that area too. So that's kind of weird. Must be a design or a, gets, like I said, gets caught on the machine or packaging or something. And it could be why they are at the Dollar Tree. So those are all good. This one I'll use as an example or a tester. Not good. It's a tester. So for the flowers, I'm using this Judykin stamp that I found at the um, garage sale. And then just stamp kind of a little off the turn it Oops. I think these are really going to be fun though. And then I've got an idea for packaging. Let me get a wipey type. I had done this with um, other stamps last two years ago, I think. And um, they turned out cute. But I didn't color the backgrounds, I just colored the... I love these stamps. This was such a good find. And that's always my goal when I get... buy stuff like stamps or whatever, or any kind of crafting stuff at Goodwill or a craft sale or garage sale. I always try to use it right away so that... I kind of get used to it and, you know, just basically use it instead of put it away and then never see it again. It's a good habit to be in. I think I got enough kitties. I wish I had a little dog. Probably do somewhere. But, I'll just keep with the flowers. And then I'll probably like uh, probably do packaging and, and stamp on there too. There. Then I can start coloring. So um, I'm gonna try these because I love the fluorescent colors. I like this one. No, it does not fluorescent. 
do with some of the first ones I stamped. And just color in the lines. So all your color book colorers, maybe try this out. And you certainly can doodle, you just need a, um, like I would use my Micron pen, I, and because you don't want it to bleed or run. See now. See, ah, uh, this drives me nuts. That's not gonna flow now. Stupid thing. Maybe if I put it upside down. So I need a different blue. don't like that scratchy that like scratches right in my brain like fingers on a chalkboard why did I do the middle too I forget They're just crazy. They're really bad this year. I think everywhere. Yeah, it's cute. I used to get Judykin stamps all the time. They're cute little stamps. I used to have a ex uh I think it's called scrapbook expo now, but it used to be called Rubber Rama. And my girlfriend I just loved saying that. Didn't take much to please us. <laughs> Now the souffle pins, they look really thick and wet when you're coloring with them, but they dry kind of a little bit matter, yeah, more matte than what you think it's going to be. And when they're drying, they fade a little bit too. So I will let that dry, and I don't think you need to watch me color, so I will be back. Actually, I won't. I'm going to do this right now. See how... Where are the things? Oops. Okay. So here's the colors. There's the purple. It does, it colors, it ma dries to the color of the pan. Here's the pink. My finger wasn't in the way. And there's the green. So I think with this, I want to do a matte or the souffle. I love these. See how it's really thick and wet. It's 
very satisfying. This is only puddly with these souffles. The other ones aren't like that. I think, um, I don't think Michael's carries, I think you have to order these online. That's where I got them. And just make sure it really gets up to that edge. And then just let it dry. Don't even look at it. I gotta put it way far away, otherwise I'll set something on it. And then I'll show you the metallic. After I have a little sip of coffee. Here's the metallic. And then these, I forgot to tell you these are... Stardust. These are Stardust. I think, let me see. Yeah, these are the metallics. These are Stardust. Maybe I'll try a Stardust. Well, I'll show a metallic first. How cute the kitties are. On these, I did have to, with the puppy, or the souffle, I did have to go in and touch up his eyeballs and stuff. <coughs> Just because it, uh, coated over it. Like I see one eye that didn't come through. Oops, I forgot I'm way... There. So I haven't tried the Stardust yet. Where did I put them? pretty. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to be pretty. I'm so glad Iris came up with 